Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my beginner's guide to Evernote 10. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you how to process your notes in your inbox. Now there's a correct way of doing this and a not so correct way of doing this and I want to show you the difference between the two so that you can get super fast at processing your Evernote inbox. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you do want to learn all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into my demo 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 Evernote account now and I'll show you how you can process your inbox. Okay, so what I've done in this particular episode is I've collected two notes. So I've collected a, an email newsletter that I, that I did and I've also collected a blog post that I did and I've saved this into my Evernote. So what you need to do when it comes to, this is one of the reasons why having an inbox is so important. So this is kind of like a productivity tip for you. If you start adding notes directly into your notebooks, then you're not actually curating your notes particularly effectively. Essentially, what you want to do is create a rule that every note you make begins in your inbox. This means that you will always have the opportunity to make sure that the note is in the right notebook with the right tags. So I've got one here which is related to productivity. Now, the first thing is I want to check to see if I've got a productivity notebook. I don't. So I'm going to, because normally I would do. So productivity, because this is a big part of my work. So I'm going to add a notebook called productivity and that's going to go into my stack. So what I'm going to do, if you remember, when we've got a notebook, I want to put that into my work stack. So if you go into your notebooks right here, I can now go to the three dots at the side here and add to a stack and I'm going to choose work. So click on that and that's now added to my work uh, stack. So let's go back to my inbox now and what we're going to do is up at the top here is where you can save it to a notebook. So I'm going to click on this little icon here. So maybe if I zoom in, you can see that I can click on that and it says move to notebook, move note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm just going to add it to my productivity and hit either click the move or hit enter and it's gone to my productivity. Another one here, how are you collecting your notes? Again, this is related to productivity. So I can actually go into here and click on move to note. But what you will have noticed is when I did the previous one, let's go back into here. When I did this one, I'm going to move this back to my inbox because what I want to do is I want to show you one thing that you need to do. And this is just to get it in the right order. So first of all, before you move the project, when you're processing your inbox, before you move the note to the notebook you want to do, add the tags. So I'm going to put, I'm going to create a tag personal productivity uh productivity and i'm going to add that task tag and i'm going to also let's say create another one blog Z. and let's say another one which is very good to do is articles to read and i'm going to create that so i've added four tags to this three tags sorry yeah, three tags to this particular note. So make sure you add any tags that you want to do add first. Then go to the project, the notebook and then move that to wherever you want to move it. So I'm going to move that to my productivity, hit return and that's gone. As you can see, it's gone. How are you collecting your notes? Again, this is related to productivity. So all I have to do is type P and there you go. I can just hit return. And again, this is a blog so I can go blog and again hit return and it's just going to add the tags. So once you've got your tag list organized or once you start developing your tag list you'll find it's very very quick to add the tags. Just go up to here, tap on that and you can then move that to productivity. 
and just hit move. Okay, so now we've got these three things. So there are other ways of doing this. So I'm going to go into personal here and let's just, we'll use miscellaneous for now. Uh, so we've got this one here. You can open up the your notebooks like this. So you had them down the side bar. So what I can do is I've already tagged this with James Bond books. So this just needs moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the note like this. I'm going to move it down to miscellaneous and it goes. This one I've already tagged, as you can see. So again, all I have to do is move it down to miscellaneous down there. And you can see it's just clearing out my inbox. Now, I find this is actually the quickest way to do it. And again, I've got one here and that's related to James Bond. So again, I'm just going to move that down to miscellaneous. And there you go. My inbox is clear. Now, that's just a quick demonstration on four or five notes, but you can get really, really fast. But remember, the key is to whenever you're in a note, the key is to make sure before you move the note to a different notebook that you add any tags. I mean, it's not the end of the world because obviously you can go into the notebook and add your tasks, but you may as well do everything all in one place when you're processing your inbox. So there you go. I hopefully that, I've got one here, by the way, I've got meeting notes. And what you'll find is this is actually in the wrong, wrong notebook. So this is a meeting note. So I can just drag that from that and move it into the right place and it will go. So there you go. That's all I really wanted to show you this way. And really what you want to do is to start getting into the habit of processing your notes. Usually once a week is enough because notes are not generally urgent, but just clearing out the inbox. But as you're going through the inbox, what you want to be doing is deciding whether you want to keep the note or not. Sometimes you get notes that you've thrown in there and you think, why is this in here? And this is where you would just decide, okay, I'm going to delete it. And remember, when you delete a note, it goes into your trash. Now, I've got a couple in here called Untitled, and I put them in on the 9th of April. So I have to actually go into my trash and empty it for these notes to disappear. So when you first delete a note, it doesn't go disappear immediately. You have to do action to get them to disappear. So there you go. That's all I wanted to show you this week. It's called processing your notes. It's something that you want to get really good at, get into the habit of doing, because the more you do it, the faster you will be. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.